Welcome to the show tonight, everyone. I am Kat Cannabis, the host of your show. We have a great guest for you. Peter Canova is an author of the First Souls Trilogy, in which Pope Annalisa uh, won nine book awards. And his next book has just won its first, book, its first award, and that book is The Thirteenth Disciple, and it's all about Mary Magdalene. Oh, it's a fantastic book. I did get to read it. So we brought Peter Canova on the show tonight to talk about the new award that he has won. Welcome to the show, Peter Canova. Hi, Kathy. Nice to be with you. So, Peter, first of all, tell us a little bit about Pope Annalisa and the nine awards that it won. Well, it's actually 10 awards. Oh. Um, and uh, it's uh, Pope Annalisa is the story of an African nun who becomes the first female pope. Uh, and it's a spiritual, what I call a spiritual thriller, but that's kind of the, the action plot of it. The story behind the scenes really is about the uh, restoration of uh, a spiritual, a true spiritual form of religion that typified Christianity before the Roman Empire got a hold of it and morphed it into something completely different. Wow, that's great. And what were the, the book awards you won? Oh, I, I couldn't name them all, but amongst them were Writer's Digest, Nautilus, uh, National Best Book Award, International Best Book Award. Um, I, I don't even remember all of them off. It's on my website under the awards for anybody that's really curious about it. That's amazing. He, he's won 10 book awards and uh, he's so humble. He doesn't even remember them all. I mean, I would have them written on my forehead or something. So now you've written the second book in this trilogy and it is The 13th Disciple. Tell us a little bit about that book. It's the, well, I guess you could call it either the sequel or the prequel to Pope Annalisa and the First Souls Trilogy. Um, it sort of gives the background uh, of the characters in book one in previous incarnations they had during the time of Jesus of Nazareth. And the book is about Mary Magdalene who really carried amongst all the disciples the secret spiritual message of Jesus after his death. And the story is about her struggles to bring that sacred knowledge to the world in an age that really wouldn't listen to women, that were, real, were controlled by men. And um, she uh, kind of embarks on a spiritual odyssey across the world, being chased by agents of the Roman Empire. And uh, again, it's a, it's a very action-oriented book. Uh, you might not think so from the, the, the title or the, you know, the... Uh, the description of being a book about Mary Magdalene. Uh, but again, it, it also is a thriller, brings in a lot of history of the ancient world and a lot of history of early Judeo-Christianity. So basically, uh, the 13th Disciple is almost like uh, the re-emergence of, of the sacred feminine. The sacred feminine is the basic uh, message in that book and how important it is. It, it's certainly one of the major themes of the book uh, and the trilogy. Um, the trilogy, in large measure, because it has such strong female lead characters, is about the restoration of the feminine voice. And by the feminine voice, I don't just simply mean a message that is being given by females. I mean a restoration of the intuitive um, side of our personalities, which we all have, uh, that balances the kind of what we would call male or logical, analytical side of our beings. And it's all about recovering intuition and imagination and those feminine characteristics that really are the gateway to higher spiritual awareness uh, that were unfortunately lost and so suppressed back in the uh, formative days of Christianity. So uh, the, the cover of your book is gorgeous. Do you happen to have Pope Annalisa and, and the 13th Disciple with you so you can hold them up? Um, I actually I do I have them in the bookshelf right in back of me, if you wait a second. Okay, let me see if I can get these centered on screen here. Uh, can you see them okay? Yeah, can you tell them a little more? Because Pope Annalisa has uh, your computer. There you go. Oh, those are beautiful. So did you win awards uh, for the covers of your book as well? Uh, yeah, actually, in the Writer's Digest Award, they uh, give you um, 
scores according to book design, and this got the highest marks it could get for uh, book design in addition to the contents of the book. Wow, so tell us what the newest uh, book award is that you've won for The Thirteenth Disciple. Can you hold that, just The Thirteenth Disciple up for us again? Uh, there you go. Oh, that's a beautiful, that is a beautiful cover. Thank you. And so you've actually got your pictures in, in a cross on the front. Did you do that uh, on purpose? Yeah, what, what, what's depicted, Mary Magdalene is in the center, and uh, the, the sides of the picture that form the cross are actually uh, the, the six male disciples on either side. Oh, wow, that's in beautiful. The icon, in the form of icons. So uh, that's book two of, of the, the First Souls trilogy. Right. Do you have a title for the third one? The Light of Distant Suns. The Light of Distant Suns will be the last book of the trilogy, and the trilogy was written in reverse order. The Light of Distant Suns, uh, it's going to be very, very different, maybe very shocking to some people because it may seem like a departure from the real world, but it really gets back into the very origins of human life on Earth when souls first entered the earth plane. So it starts off actually in another dimension. And we see the fall, the story of the fall of the first souls from a heavenly realm into material existence. And the, the great prehistoric civilizations they build, and then the sort of degeneration and deterioration of these souls in material life leading to um, warfare and uh, the decline of their empires and, and loss of a great deal of spiritual knowledge. So it's, it's an extremely interesting book. Goodness, it, it certainly sounds interesting. It almost sounds like history, past history, catching up with us again, uh, a bit of the back to the future. So tell us about the latest book award you won on um, uh, The 13th Disciple. Yes, it's called The Best Book Award. Um, like most of these awards, uh, you have hundreds and even thousands of uh, competitive entries. So winning one of these awards really is very gratifying because you're, you're up against, at the minimum, hundreds of books, if not thousands of books. And uh, the uh, 13th Disciple was a finalist, uh, kind of second place or silver medal, I guess you could call it, uh, in the Best Book Awards. And it uh, won in the spiritual religious category. Uh, and I will say for the listeners that the real story of the First Souls Trilogy, Pope Annalisa, The Thirteenth Disciple. Uh, it, they're not religious books. They're about spirituality transcending religion. Uh, and they're about a universal spiritual tradition that really ran through all uh, major religions as sacred knowledge before these religions became institutionalized and took on layers of dogma. There was a common spiritual wisdom that was out there in the ancient world. And much to our detriment, it became obscured by powers that be that had different agendas and uh, organized these uh, spiritual teachings into religions of dogma and doctrine. Well, so if you had uh, one word of advice to all of the authors and uh, budding authors who may be watching this show tonight, what advice would you give them concerning uh, writing an award-winning book? Writing any book Let me think about that. that you're trying to uh, achieve success with, I think, really begins with writing about something that you're extremely passionate about. If you're not passionate about your subject, that it's a burning thing that you have just got to get out there and share with the world, as opposed to just sort of something you're writing, uh, I don't think you'll ever achieve the degree of success that you normally would because I found that the best writing comes when you feel very emotional about your subject matter. Mm, that's great advice. So love what you're writing and what you're writing will be loved by probably everybody else. Um, how, uh, so your, your book, uh, The 13th Disciple, is that available for purchase now? Is it out or have you won this award before the book's even out? Um, actually, before the book is out, the, there, there is a version of the book currently out there uh, in Kindle form or ebook form available for uh, Kindle and Nook and uh, those other kind of ebook readers. Um, the paperback version I expect to be available probably within the next 30 days. Uh, and uh, there will also be a, a hardcover version. 
I do have some advanced hardcover copies that I'm donating free to different uh, churches, spiritual groups, libraries, and so forth. Um, but there'll be a limited hardcover run available for the public. But in most cases, you'll be able to order the paperback off of your um, favorite uh, site like Amazon or Barnes and Noble. Yeah, that is great. So, uh, Peter Canova, could you please share your contact information with our audience? How can they find you, find your book, and uh, find out when it's going to be available for purchase in the bookstores or online? Well, I have two websites for each book. One is PopeAnnalisa.com, and the other is The13thDisciple.com. Both of them are all one word. And uh, 13th is spelled out. It's not 1-3, but it's spelled out. And if you go to those websites, there's a wealth of information there, not really just about the book, but about a wide variety of subjects ranging from ancient spiritual texts to modern quantum physics and how they relate to one another. Uh, there's uh, contact information uh, through the websites. Uh, you'll be able to see the list of different awards. Um, you can look up the books on Amazon. Pope Annalisa has, oh, I don't know, 66, 67 plus reviews, 90% of them or 95% or are five star reviews. And uh, of course, the 13th Disciple is um, not quite out there yet for the Amazon reviews. But uh, if you go to those uh, different sites, you'll learn a lot about the subject matter. Well, thank you so much, Peter Canova, for being on the show with us tonight and, and sharing all this information. Uh, so if you are a, a writer or a new writer and this is your first book, um, make sure that you submit your books for awards because it, it's sort of like uh, telling the world that this book is special. So thank you again, Peter Canova, for being on the show with us tonight. Is there one last thought you'd like to leave with our audience? And would you hold up the 13th Disciple for us again so sure. we can take another look at it? I'll show you the front and the back cover. Oh, yeah. That's okay. a beautiful cover. This is the this is the back cover. And did you develop this cover yourself? Did you do this work? Uh, actually, I did. Um, I pretty much laid it out in outline form. I did work with a graphic designer to put the finishing touches on it and fill it in with the skills that I don't quite have. My Photoshop is is not bad, but it, it, it's limited. So uh, yeah, I was responsible largely for the concepts, and then I I helped. I had somebody help me execute the design. And did you do the same thing with, with uh, Pope Annalisa? Can you yes. hold that up for us again, too, so we can take a look at it? So you basically... Um, yeah, these are... I actually kind of had visions of the... I love those eyes. Um, I had visions of these covers in my mind uh, as I was developing the book ideas and the character, and I visualized something that would sort of typify uh, the, the, the content of, of the books. So that's how I sort of visualized um, and, you know, kind of waking dreamed the, uh, the front covers of each of the books. And what about the back of the book? How does the back of that book look? Does... Oh, so this is the back of, this is the back oh. of Annalisa. That is beautiful. Well, Pope Annalisa and the 13th Disciple, everyone. We've got great books. Thank you again, Peter Canova, for being with us. And uh, join us again next week, Monday night, 5 Pacific Time, 8 Eastern Standard Time, for another great show. You never know who I'm going to have on, so you got to show up. Good night, everybody, and have a great Thanksgiving. Thank, Thank you, for you for having me. Thank you for having me. You're welcome.